Hey Flower Tribe, so today we're going to talk about whether or not to deadhead your hydrangeas. So we posted a hydrangea video a while ago about how to get more blooms from your hydrangea and we'll put a link to that in descriptions. And um, we had like, I don't know, like over five or 600 comments back and forth about hydrangea care. So it's a really cool post to visit if you're a hydrangea lover because there was a lot of tips being given back and forth uh, between members of our Flower Tribe. So check that out if you like. And one of the uh, questions that came up a lot was should I deadhead my hydrangea flowers that you know have been past like their their bloom period so uh, we're going to cover that today and the simple answer to that is yes but be very careful because you want to make sure that you don't over prune while you're deadheading and that could be a big no-no because if you over prune you may not get blooms this year and I'm going to show you why Okay, so here's the story with the deadheading of the hydrangeas. So I'm back here and it's springtime with my endless summer hydrangea. And it always helps to deadhead your hydrangeas because it will help more blooms come. It will encourage extra blooms for the season, but you wanna be careful that you don't prune instead of deadheading at this time. So what I mean by deadheading is you're gonna find some of the spent blooms, like this guy's pretty spent. You're gonna go take a look down on the stem and I'm gonna cut right above a fresh set of new leaves. So guys, you're gonna take the old stem, follow it down to where it has a new set of leaves and you're gonna make your cut when you're deadheading just above that. You don't wanna cut below this because you might be cutting off new blooms that are gonna come in this summer. So make sure that you cut above any kind of new growth and that's your best way to deadhead. Now guys, if you have a stalk that looks totally dead like this, you can tell it's dead because as I'm going down, there's no green inside this stem. You see how it's all kind of white? You can tell there's no green in there. That means that there's nothing that's gonna bloom on here and it's an old stalk and it's an old cane and you can just cut that guy out altogether. You can tell it's all white, there's no green. So you can get rid of those stems because your hydrangea likes to have a lot of airflow. So guys, you wanna remove any kind of old growth or deadheading that you do from the base of the plant because it needs a lot of air circulation. So I'm gonna make sure I remove this so that it doesn't clog up the airflow because the airflow makes your plant happier. So here's some more deadheading examples. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna deadhead this guy right here. Get rid of him. I'm gonna deadhead this guy all the way down here. So guys, keep in mind that when you're deadheading a uh, hydrangea, you're not pruning it, you're deadheading it. And the difference between deadheading and pruning is that when you're deadheading, you're simply removing the spent bloom and the stem that it was on. When people talk about pruning back a hydrangea, a lot of times they'll be talking about actually removing a whole third of the plant to uh, either revive it or to make it more uh, a better size for their garden and the time of year to do pruning would be the end of winter or very very early spring not when the, all this new growth has started on it so um, yeah so they're very different we're going to do some videos showing you exactly how to prune and we'll put that in links below once those are posted but keep in mind the deadheading is very different than pruning so guys, here's another one of my hydrangeas, and this guy has a lot of new growth really close to the old bloom. So I'm gonna once again follow this stem down to right above a set of new leaves, and I'm gonna give it a snip, and that's it. I'm gonna make sure I remove it so that it doesn't clog up the bottom of the base and stop that airflow, and that's it. So guys, I showed you my endless hydrangea before. These are my Annabelle hydrangea. And these guys, you basically do the same thing. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna look for those blooms that are kind of, they've kind of had it. You're gonna follow that old worn out stem down to here. I'm actually gonna take this whole stem out because I can see that this whole thing is not gonna give me any new growth because it's, it's white and it's brown and everything around it is nice lush green stems. And this guy is like this real white, uh, beat up looking like a cane. So I'm gonna cut him out. So I removed that whole section from the plant and now the plant doesn't have to worry about supporting this anymore and it can put more energy into bursting out more beautiful flowers. This is my limelight hydrangea in spring and as you can tell it has a lot of uh, dead blooms up top. 
Now, I'm not gonna get to those because they're just too high. I'm not gonna go on a ladder and kill myself getting them. So it's not a big deal. I'm still gonna get blooms out of this hydrangea anyway. So guys, I really feel like, like God put all these beautiful flowers on earth for us to enjoy and bring us peace. So don't stress out over your flowers. Don't stress out over your hydrangeas. Um, usually, if you could just plant them in a spot where they're gonna be happy, you don't usually have to even worry about pruning them. And as far as a deadheading goes, it helps them, but it's not absolutely necessary uh, to get blooms. You don't have to deadhead to get blooms. You're just probably going to get more of them. There are some seasons when I'm super lazy and I don't do any deadheading and I wind up getting blooms anyway. So like I said, enjoy your gardens. Don't stress out over them. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. And I'm going to put a link for my Patreon page below in case you're interested in supporting my dream of providing tons and tons of flower tip videos so people all over the world can grow their own flowers in their own backyards. And also please feel free to subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next video.